Three years ago, when I was searching for my full-time job as an international student in the UK, I had this amazing opportunity presented in front of me. It was a tech startup. So what happened was after five rounds of interview, the HR actually told me they wanted me to join their team. But the issue at that time was there was no job that was advertised for me. So instead, what they did was they created a brand new role just for me to fit into the team. If you don't know who I am, my name is Minka and I am a career coach. My goal is to help you, international students, or any non-native speakers to land a dream job that really fits your career aspiration. So today I am going to teach you four important steps that you're going to use to land yourself a job without the job even existed. These four steps are going to be really helpful if first you are someone who doesn't know if this company is going to be your fit, if you don't know where you are going into. Second, if you are a graduating student, all the teaching that is going to be included in this video is going to be very beneficial for you regardless where you are looking for your job. So let's get started. So if you want to join a company that you know you really like the company, you really like the culture, you really believe in their product, but they don't have an existing role that is perfect for you, or if you don't know you are going to fit into the company, this is what you can do. First, when you are selecting the company to go for, you should focus on SME, which means small, medium-sized companies. Comparing to big corporations where they have all the headcount sorted out one year earlier, they have all the management and the structure so well defined. The benefits of smaller company, first, they often are very flexible around the structure. They are willing to take talents. They're willing to train you and to mold you into different areas of business. Second, smaller companies, especially those who are venture backed, when they recently completed a new round of investment, for example, series a or series b funding they are in this need to quickly expand the team whether it's marketing sales or products they need to get all the right people in place as soon as possible so they are actually hunting for talents as long as you have demonstrated the skills and value that you can add to the company then they are willing to take you Step two, you need to do extensive research about the company. Whenever a company is hiring, especially for SME company, each hire is a key hire to the company because they don't have so many people, meaning that they don't have so many replacements that is able to replace you in the case that the hire is wrong. When you are talking to these small, medium-sized companies, it's very important that you show them that you know about the company. This is a company that you are very interested in joining you know the ins and outs about the company. The following are the key things that you should definitely know before you go on to an interview. The first, the product of the company. What is the product this company is selling? Is it a software? Is it a service? Is it a hardware? The second thing to know is the industry. Which industry is this company sitting in? Because the dynamic of the industry is going to highly influence how the company behave. For example, in finance industry, if it's a fintech startup, then the pace is often very fast and they need to know a lot about the inside, like the supply chain behavior and the relationship between different players within finance industry. The third thing that you need to research about is the company culture. Do they value people? How do they treat their employees? What's the relationship between a manager and uh, individual contributor? Is it something that you are going to thrive in? Do they encourage working from home or do they want you to go to the office, etc.? All of these are going to help you to understand once you are in this company, is it something that you are going to enjoy? Step three, show your potential. This is particularly important if you are a graduating student or who are really early in your career. Because when you are new to the industry, you don't bring actual knowledge or extensive work experience. So in this case, you really need to demonstrate you have the potential to thrive in and then to develop into a leader in, of the future. What you need to do in this case, you know, you have your CV, your cover letter, you need to make sure that you write eloquently, you show through your academics or your past experience that you are someone who is easily adaptable. You also need to do the similar thing in your interviews whenever they ask you questions. Step four, stay open-minded. In the process of application and interviews, what could happen is the recruiter will come back telling you that this role might be better for you. And in this case, you should stay open-minded. 
look into the role that they presented to you and see if this is something that fits your career goal and fits your career development. You should be generally interested in different roles and be ready to explore different options because this also shows that you are someone who is adaptable and who is open-minded to all the new ideas. And guys, these are the four steps that you want to take. If you want a company to create a role for you, you want to make sure that you are open-minded, you know the company well, you apply specifically for small, medium-sized company, and you know you can demonstrate your potential and are willing to be molded into different shapes. These are very key when it comes to assessing a candidate. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will be posting more videos like this for you to take all the tips and tricks so that you can find a dream job for yourself. I'll see you in the next video.